Senator Budd. Yeah, thank you, Chairman. Um, I thank the ranking member as well. And I appreciate what each of you all bring to this conversation as uh, we wrestle with this in the Senate and Congress in general. Um, I think this is an issue which uh, I think in your term, Mr. Wilson, brings anxiety for many and um, eagerness and anticipation for a lot of others. So um, I'm on the optimistic side, but though I acknowledge um, uh, the whole spectrum here. Um, and I'm a believer in the promise of innovation here in the U.S. Uh, I think that the advancements in AI are going to change how jobs are done. Some of you mentioned that and not necessarily eliminate them in total. Uh, Dr. Kimbrough, uh, given LinkedIn's unique insights into employment trends, what kind of changes do you think AI is going to make to the types of jobs, not that are going to be eliminated, but the ones that are going to be in demand over the next five to 10 years? And are there specific industries or sectors where you foresee job growth due to uh, the advancements in AI? Thank you, Senator Budd, for that question. It's a really hard question, actually, and I, I am sympathetic to what Mr. Cotran said about We're nobody, betting on what you have to say. Nobody, I, know, I recognize that. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat here. Um, yeah, what I would say, well, one I would say is it's really hard to know what the jobs of the future are. Um, I'll give you an example of why I say that. Um, every year, LinkedIn puts together a list of the fastest growing jobs um, that we see on our platform, and there are millions of jobs on that platform. This year, two-thirds of the jobs on that list did not exist 20 years ago. So <laughs> I'm uh, very humble as an economist that it is hard to forecast. Um, but, what I, but I want to answer your question. So what I would say is some of the things that I think are likely to be actually most in demand are some of what we're calling the durable skills or the human skills. And um, oftentimes people ask me, what, what should my ch child be learning or studying? And I'm like, abstract problem solving, you know, critical thinking, communication. Some of these skills are the most in-demand skills every year on our platform. Communication, collaboration, leadership, strategy. So these are the things that I don't expect um, AI to replace. Thank you. Sure, sure. Maybe some of the community college skills. I was thinking of the, the heat generated through some of this computing, and that involves a lot of plumbing and processing and HVAC. So there's a lot of skills like that, perhaps. We do actually, I'm going to, sorry to interject, we do see a lot of demand for electrical engineers, electricians, mechanical engineers, plumbers, yeah. truck drivers. Absolutely. You know, in a landscape where AI is becoming more widely used in the workplace, it's more important than ever to be able to quickly reskill and upskill workers, as many of you all have talked about. Um, that's why I introduced both the Pell Act and the Employer-Directed Skills Act. Um, the Pell Act would allow... Pell Grants to be used for short-term programs, I think like the welding program that you mentioned. Uh, this would allow job seekers to enter the workforce faster and make their skills align with the current needs in an AI-driven world. Um, the Employer-Directed Skills Act will give employers more resources to prepare job seekers for open jobs. This is another way to make sure that we're leveraging workers to fill changing roles as AI changes the demands of the workforce. Uh, Dr. Kimbrough, uh, can you share how you think that some of these legislation, not just these, but maybe some others even, um, will help job seekers and employers prepare for jobs that are going to change as a result of AI? Yes. So from our data at LinkedIn, what we see is there is a huge scarcity of AI literacy talent or AI technical talent. There just isn't enough. There's much more demand than there is supply for this. And I don't think that we're going to replicate or, or, or close that gap very easily. So it's just really critical to have as many pathways as possible to create opportunities for America's workforce to reskill and upskill in a continuous fashion, not just a one-off, I go through community college and I'm done, or, but really, and not to put down the idea of community college, very supportive of it, but, but really opportunities to have small learning. And so one of the things that I would say is we very much support anything that extends the pathways, even if they're to short-term programs where people can quickly get credentials to be ready to work in the workforce to meet this, this scarcity, this huge demand for AI literacy that isn't being met. Thank you very much. Uh, one comment, um, several comments I wanted to make. I know your, your parent company, Microsoft, recently announced a deal to restart. Uh, this is really outside of um, maybe some of your projections, but they restarted the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant in Pennsylvania. Um, the power plant would develop data centers, which have a growing demand as um, AI develops and is used more widely. Just one query in chat GPT is estimated to use 10 times as much energy as a simple Google search. Um, so for the first time in decades, 
our power uh, resources, our power requirements are going to increase. But I'm very concerned. I mean, I see articles like in today's Wall Street Journal, uh, and, and it continues on about the need for more clean energy um, or the steps to get to clean energy. So I'm, I'm very concerned about um, the current administration and their positions in regards to clean energy. Um, they don't support it. Um, Vice President Harris, she's been on the record supporting banning fracking. Um, a lot of that out of Pennsylvania, which has allowed us to be um, a net exporter of energy. Um, we need all forms of energy, including natural gas, uh, which has 50% fewer carbon emissions than coal, our biggest, that our biggest competitor, China, is going to be using. And we're not talking that they're going to be using clean coal technologies either. And you can bet that China will make sure that they have the energy that they need to surpass us in AI. So as we think to the future and the near future, I hope that we keep that in mind regarding our energy needs here in America. Thank you.